And the reason I want to make this video is because I need to explain to a lot of people, regardless of who you are, I don't care if you're an algo trader, a um, retail trader or like support resistance. Um, I don't care if you're a fucking trend liner. I don't care if you're a chalky flippy dicky up my ass. I don't care if you're a um, SMC trader or whatever you call yourself. Calling yourself something doesn't make you a good trader. That's the most important thing. What matters is that you understand how to follow trend and be on the right side of price. There is a very simple reason that most people are consistently on the wrong side of price. And that reason falls into the psychology of wanting to be in trades. And as a result, forcing things like the sells from right here to the downside for no reason, especially when the market's already showcasing longs to you clear as day. And as a result, you find yourself consistently on the wrong side and never understand why you're continuously getting liquidated um, and wondering why price just won't come back for your equal lows, why price won't come and take out the equal lows here. A lot of smart money is still sitting here to this day wondering, right, why their sells from here, from here, from here, from here, and maybe from here soon, and then from here, and then from here, why their sells are not working to come and take out this easy liquidity here. A lot of them are wondering that. And the reason for that is because you have a very poor understanding of liquidity. Your understanding of liquidity is close, is, is basically within the, um, the hemisphere of Instagram, where you saw someone draw something along the lines of this, and you wanna see equal highs and equal lows taken out because you think that a pattern is going to make you money and not an understanding of the market and how it moves and how it develops. Because guess what, guys? Guess what? There are equal lows and highs absolutely everywhere. If we go to a weekly, there's gonna be equal highs up here. And there's been money that's been after these equal highs right here ever since this first week here happened. Even after this first one right here, there were people forcing longs on lower time frames here to take it out and here and here and here and here and here and here and here. And finally a spring and finally a new spring and oh my God, what is happening? What? <laughs> stop. Come on, stop, stop, man, stop. Oh, God. I'm getting my trade. Oh, it might work. It might work. Right? Your 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 understanding about the markets is so jaded. Quick disclaimer: uh, these videos are meant for educational purposes only. Anything said or shown in any of these videos are personal opinion and my perspective. A trading carries a high level of risk, so anything done is your responsibility. <laughs> Okay, how's it going guys? Welcome back to MentFX. Today, uh, I have a quick video for you guys. And, and the quick video today is basically talking about how if you study or at least understand um, where other people are going wrong, you're going to put yourself 10,000 years ahead of those people by an endless amount where you can basically begin to see real success and real changes in your own trading, um, even as fast as one month to three months. Even though that's a very short amount of time, small things can actually make a huge difference in the way that you perceive and move with the markets. Now, something that I've spoken about a lot on this channel is the importance of trends. And what I mean by that is that once you have a trend established, let's say an SSC in a given direction, um, you're actually gonna see that trend continue itself for a long period of time. Um, even if it breaks down, it keeps going, right? And one of the main things that I teach about trends is the fact that when a trend is developed, one of the dumbest things that you can do, and hopefully you already know the answer to this, is trade back into zones. So trying to sell back into a zone, or trying to then sell back into a zone, or trying to 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 sell back into a zone, etc. Every time you try to sell back into a zone, this is when you always put yourself on the wrong side of price. And what's funny is most people are not, even when they do get the sell, like here, back into the zone, they're not even starting to sell around here. Um, they're starting to sell already around here and here and here and here and here. So yeah, they might get it right, but overall with a conglomeration of the wins and losses, you're gonna be fucking eating shit your entire life if you do this, okay? So the very first step is understanding that when a trend is holding, the trend is likely to hold, which means that if you try to force sells into the longs, you're gonna lose money. And this is exactly where smart money, yes, smart money, as well as retail, uh, regardless of the, the background you're coming from. And when I say retail, I just mean people that utilize simpler concepts like support resistance, which are not not profitable. I used to trade it profitably as well. It's um, just a simpler, um, in my mind, it's a simpler analysis type that we can just refer to as retail. So regardless of whether you're in the retail sphere or the smart money sphere, this exact problem is the exact same problem that, that basically takes most traders by storm and keeps them on the wrong side of price no matter what. And as a result, you get to the point where you think or you have this issue that you love to tell your mentor about, which is, 
I always am right about the direction, but I never can get my entry. Or I'm always right about the direction, but I'm taking losses on the wrong side or whatever it might be. And a lot of you can look back at your own systems right now or your own histories and lives and recognize that even when the market is long, the losses that you're overall taking aren't to the long side. The losses you're taking are actually on the downside because what you're doing subconsciously, even if you don't realize this, but you are doing it, is you're looking to sell back into specific zones, whether it be a break and retest zone, an SND zone as area below, uh, equal lows, equal highs, trend line liquidations, whatever it might be. This is where a lot of people go wrong. They think that because the trend has developed and has begun to make a move, it needs to make the pullback before continuing the move. Now, a good representation of this is the recent price action that we've had on EU that I've spoken about time and time again. So I'm not going to spend time basically, um, you know, going off in your ear about it. But if you want to learn about how we followed this exactly before it ever happened, mentafx.com, the mentorship link below is exactly for you. Okay. And if you're already trading like a fucking gun, God, menfunding.com is for you as well, because we want to bring on amazing traders that know what they're doing, know how to manage risk, um, and can grow our prop firm as well as yourselves and be a win-win across the board. Now, we made this bullish bias available to a lot of you a long time ago. This is a break to the top side, making this an S. This guy right here, the refined guy here, became the second S, which is part of the SSC system, which is very simply structure, SND, confirmation. This is all you ever need to really find huge success in trading, but you need to take the time, okay, to see how this works in different kind of market conditions and markets to see how fractally these kind of ranges deliver. That's really all trading is if you want to take the time to do that, okay? So what we spoke about is this three-day cluster. You can see this is more of a mentorship uh, mentorship concept, but that's fine if you understand what it is and phenomenal. So this is a three-day cluster uh, refined to a four-hour S&D. So that's what I showed you guys in the last video. Make sure you've seen the last video to understand how we got this point right here and why we started following longs from there. This is something I, I shared with you guys publicly a long time ago. And since then, what I've been doing is I've only been going long. I've personally been able to catch longs um, just off the top of my head um, in here, in here, uh, I took some longs in here and here. I didn't take anything during this week right here. I took longs in here, here, here. Um, I might've taken a long here. I don't remember. Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing took a long in here. Nothing, nothing, nothing took a long this week in here and in here. So I took a few longs there and you can see those as I zoom in a little bit here. Had a really nice win on this day, a break even day on this day and a beautiful day on this day as well. And the reason I'm able to do this is because every trade that I'm looking for is basically what I'm doing is I'm forcing, well, not forcing, but I'm waiting for a bullish context that gives me a bullish scenario or a bullish setup. And I'm never thinking to myself, how do I get back down the specific zones? And a good example of this also is that this week, a member of mine in the private mentorship reached out to me. And this is a member that has done very well for himself over time because he's basically unlearned the dog shit that he's learned elsewhere. But he sent to me because he's still in a, he's still in another mentorship where he he paid for a lifetime there because they only offered one price of like $2,000 or some absurd shit like that. So he paid for that and he was still in there and the, and the mentor there is sending signals. And one of the main signals that that mentor sent this week, this specific week was this one right here, where basically he highlighted a previous zone here, highlighted this zone here, um, highlighted the imbalance right here, highlighted the imbalance right here, and basically sent out this to the team and said, all right, prices are going to go short into here and then go long. Prices are gonna go short and then go long, right? So his entire idea of the week was he's overall long, which he's com completely correct about, but his misunderstanding of how to properly use systems and, and, and concepts are leading him to go, oh fuck, imbalance, it's getting filled, it's gotta go short, it's gotta go short. So all he's doing is he's forcing shorts into now the imbalances and also he had these highlighted, the equal lows here and the equal lows here. And this is everything he wanted to see taken out. Now to this day, it's Sunday or it's Saturday right now, you can see price never came down to take out any of those lows and, and whatnot. So that trader or that mentor and his mentees in that smart money space are already consistently losing money and consistently staying on the wrong side of price. And the reason that happens is because there's a misunderstanding about how to follow and what it truly means to follow trend. Now, on the other hand, in my group, um, all we've been doing is looking for and following and waiting for longs to follow, which means that if we have a bearish break in the market, we are instantly assuming, so this is what I teach in the, mentor, in the mentorship, we are assuming this to become a reaccumulation. This is where a little bit of Wyckoff comes in. So what we'll wait for is either a lower time frame to begin building SSCs inside of here that we can take long, or we'll wait for a new SSC rebreak to the top side that's going to put in a new trend 
a new SSC that's long now and look to take that long because we are already um, working on the assumption that this is all working as a reaccumulation. So we have nothing to force. So when like this break right here happened and broke down bearish, we never considered the imbalances here or the high here or the SD here, or the SD here to be short on this market. We instantly assumed longs. And as a result, when price on a lower time frame in this case began to break long as it did, I followed the SSCs of this move here and took that long to make money, right? So again, showcasing this exact same thing that, is, that you see in the title of this video, which is if you understand how your competition thinks, or if you understand how other people think, you're going to put yourself fucking stratospheres above them, right? And, and, the, and the big issue always starts with the same mentality of the fact that we have a zone, we have an area, we have a bias, but now, but now we need to see price sell into that zone before the long. So instead of waiting for a new long that might present itself or for price to come to my long, I'm going to force any chalky flippy, any head and shoulder, any auction theory, whatever fucking thing you trade out there is, I'm going to focus and force anyone that starts coming down into the zone before going long. And that first tiny little switch that's gone off in their head has turned them into the junkie, right? Because now all they're waiting for, oh, yo, yo, all they're waiting for, uh, is they need price to start coming down and that's all they're looking for so every trade they take is going to be within the context of yeah i'm overall long of course the market is long it's clearly long you know mentafx has told me it's long my mentor tells me it's long it's clearly moving long but i must sell into the longs i must take out the liquidity here i must have my trend lines and i must first sell price down into the trend line to then go long i need to see price you know i have my head and shoulder that began to get moved i need to see a sell into my head and shoulder before i buy it up and again this first flip of a switch that occurs in your mind that's forcing you to now go short or on the first breaks that are short because again here's on a four hour what is this right here that's a break that's going short what do you think most traders were doing right here going short guess what we were doing we were going long in all of this because we followed the same thing I taught you right here. As price is making a breakdown, we instantly assume reaccumulation model, which means we are following lower time frames to go long here or are waiting, waiting for the break here. And you can see that regardless of what you did, whether you followed those longs here, which are these guys right here, and you followed those longs, you could have been profitable doing that because you had a higher time frame that's already delivering and wanting to go long, or you waited for the initial break, which happened, and look where price returns, right into the S&D of that break. And again, is the range random? Nope. Here's the low as drawn by the indicator, and here's the high as drawn by the free indicator that you do not have to pay me for available on TradingView called MentFX Structure. But again, showcasing the importance of if you understand your competition or you understand what other people are doing, what the 95% continue to do wrong, you can always be on the right side and understand what it means to be on the right side. So that when you have an overall agreement across multiple timeframes where price wants to head, hence the thing I made available to you guys multiple times now that I'm still long on, that next week I'll be long on, next week I'll be looking for longs to take out this high and hopefully continuous. Um, that's when you that's when you excel above the competition that's how you do a lot better than them so today's video is very simply look at what the other side of the aisle is doing look at what the competition is thinking like and regardless of whether you find yourself in this auction retail or smart money space there is going to always be this idea that you need to sell into the longs and as a result you're always going to be on the wrong side and you're not going to be able to focus on being on the right side right so when this break here happened you know, this was a breakdown to the downside. Many people, once again, want to go short here, here at the resistance, at the auction theory areas, at the volume profile that probably would have shown you a point of control around here or here just to showcase that, you know, if we went to fixed range tool, right? Volume profile, sure. So if I went from, you know, on the, on the down move. So like if we went from here to here, you're probably going to see a point of control around this area here, right? Let's see. Let's go to a different Euro USD. There we go. It worked out here. So if we take a look at that, right? Can I just template this as apply defaults? Sure. So there you go, right? As we do that, you can see that the point of control would be around here. And again, most people want to go short here. And then they want to go short in the bigger volumes and the bigger volumes. So again, regardless of the theory you're working upon, whether it be smart money, volume, retail, or whatnot, um, your, your inherent bias is putting you on the wrong side because all you're looking for is that 
hey, this market is clearly way too overextended. It needs to go short. It needs to go short under my head and shoulders now to keep going short to then go long. Um, you know, I have equal lows where I got equal lows here. I have equal lows here. I have equal lows here and can't forget the higher time from equal lows here. And maybe can't even forget the equal lows like all the way here and this trend line of liquidity that needs to get taken out. So clearly I need to take shorts right now to then go long. And again, regardless of the regardless of the um, school of thought you find yourself in, you're going to be forcing trades to the wrong side. So instead, what I'm asking you to do today is recognize that and then start looking at the SSCs that are within the direction of what's going on and then follow those across the lower time frame. I had a number of people send me, you know, outlooks from the mentors that they might have had back in the day because they're still in those discords or those groups. And they're like, holy shit, I can't believe I used to follow this. And I look at it and I go, wow this is absurd and even today in this day today some of the largest mentorships in the world even in the smart money space um i've seen some of the stuff that they've sent and now let's take a step back from the support resistance methodology and think about how someone in the smart money space that really understands the movements and the intricacies of the market let's see where they're going wrong too so let's say they understand that this market is overall bullish which it is i've, I've been saying it forever the problem now is that they will now take these imbalances here or the supply zones here or the supply zones here or the imbalances right here or the imbalances right here or the supply zone here or the supply zone here <laughs> or the imbalances right here or the supply zone here etc and they will allow those areas all those areas to act as potential mitigation to come to grab liquidity on the downside before inducing more people to tap into the demand zone to then go long and what they've done is they've just taken the simple, stupid approach of, hey, I have an area I can go long from on this break and retest, but let me sell into it. So that's already an approach that's going to get in the way because now you're not trend following. And all you've done is you've complicated more with words, but you haven't done anything different. All you're saying now is, I want to see this market go long, which I do, but, 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 I want to see it short from the imbalance first. And then I want to short it from the SND here first and this imbalance and this one and this one. And I want to induce, I want to induce these equal lows and I want to induce this trend line of liquidity and I want to induce this bigger channel of liquidity. And now, regardless of the thought or theory side that you're currently in, You've taken the psychological mistake of thinking that you need to sell into a longing position before getting long. And that's where everything falls apart because the reality of the market is that once a trend is established, it's actually likely to continue that trend. So unless you're looking for lower time frame reasons to continue with the trend, right? you're likely going to be on the wrong side. So if you're in the, in the gospel or in the side of thought that's going to push you to go short and short and short and short until you get the long, you're constantly going to be on the wrong side of the market like most 95% of people usually are before you're, you're fully liquidated. I don't know how this happened, okay? But if you go ahead and watch my other public videos that are completely free, you did not pay for them and you do not need to pay for them, you're going to see that I spoke about the bullishness that I'm expecting on this market for a long time, including and breaking down specifically how I expected it from here before it ever occurred, how I was expecting and then refine that area to this little bad boy right here as per supply and demand, just like that. This was the area I had refined to and how price since hitting there has delivered and how I'm still continuing to follow along to this high. And this has been made available forever. So anyone that's just basically watched has been able to follow this up beautifully. Now, what's funny is despite all of this, I recently had a message from someone in my mentorship that said, hey, I'm part of this other mentorship. I don't name names because I'm not in this space to fight, compete or anything like that. I don't really care. But the point is to give you education that you can then use and give you live examples of the things that are happening every single week. He sent me basically an example of what um, his mentor at the time is doing and they were going and doing the exact same thing we thought they would be doing. He had a daily supply drawn here, a daily supply drawn here. He was on the four hour. He saw this first move down right here. And that mentor went ahead and said, you have imbalance here. You have trend line of liquidity or equal lows here and equal lows here. He said, you have an imbalance right here and a supply zone right here. And his, 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 his signal for the team for the week was to do this, fill the imbalance and then go long, come here, fill the imbalance and then go long. 
Now, if you can't see how this puts you in the exact same methodology as most of the people that are stuck, then you're never going to make it anywhere. You need to understand that regardless of the special method that you're following, if you don't understand how to get on the side of the trend and then stay on the side of the trend, you're consistently going to lose. It doesn't matter that you understand that the market is bullish and that it just so happens. Oh, how does it happen that every time you try to get in, you're always wrong and then it goes in your direction. Your problem has always been it goes in my direction, but it never comes from my entry. It always goes away and it doesn't do this. It always goes and I'm always on the wrong side somehow, but I'm always predicting the correct side somehow. Well, you're doing what anyone else does. Most people, most traders actually do understand that this market is currently very bullish and will remain bullish. But the problem with them is that their emotions are getting in the way and they're forcing shorts into the longs. They're forcing down moves into the longs. They're, fo they're forcing their little understanding of inept concepts of inducement and whatever it might be, um, thinking that they need to come down to grab all the liquidity before going long without realizing that the liquidity or whatever the fuck you want to call it, the positions have already been accumulated and they are making their move. And your job now is to follow either lower time frame SSEs or higher time frame SSEs and wait for price to tap into zones before continuing to the long side, which is why our team has been consistently able to catch the long side of this entire market since these points here, since this initial mitigation. We call longs in here, in here. I missed trades in here. I took trades in here and here and here. I took a trade in here and here. This week, I just took a trade inside of here and I took a a break even inside of here and that was my entire my entire um last few months right this was the last about two or three months or something yeah so about so about a month and a half here it's my entire month and a half that's been occurring so far and the reason i'm able to do that is because i'm consistently looking for moves with the trend to keep clearing the next high of the given trend so for instance with the ranges that you see drawn on here i'm looking for the continuation moves to the next highs the next highs the next highs and a and, and just these lines at the top side, not for breakdowns. And the problem is that most people, regardless of whether they are in the support resistance space, trend line space, or I'm a smart money genius space, what they're doing is they're forcing things like this because they don't understand trend development. And most people, so the, a lot of these guys have become a lot bigger than me, which is great. I don't mind. Um, I absolutely love the fact that the people that choose to learn and learn from me end up getting to the point where they understand how trends actually develop and then follow through. Okay. But the big problem is that um, a lot of the SMC space has become saturated with dog shit ac across this kind of level where, you know, you find something, you go imbalance, supply, we hit the supply. Gotta hit the inducement lows before we go long. And it's become the same issue that most people have had forever in any um, theory that they might have learned because there's a misunderstanding behind how price moves. So instead, what I've taught you time and time again is to forget this idea that price needs to sell down to go long because it's not true. Okay, well, it's not necessarily true. And instead, focus on an SSC. So what I teach you to do, and today is the model that we're going to discuss, is find an SSC that is already delivering. You want to find an SSC that's already either doing this, right? So you had a break, it's hit the SND, it's already moving, and now you know what your high is. And you want to look for this on the four hour, daily, three day, or weekly or monthly even, depending on the kind of trader you are. And once you have that established, you want to use a few number time frames lower than these, okay? So that would be, if you're using a four hour, you could talk about a five minute, 15 minute, 30 minute. If you're using a daily, maybe an hour, two hour, three hour, a three day, maybe you can use an eight hour, four hour, six hour, stuff like that, okay? Just around those. What you wanna do as a, as a serious trader that's actually serious about learning and doing um, what we do here every single week, every single day, well, you should join up with the mentorship, but if you don't want to do that, what you should be doing is you should be establishing an SSC that exists on one of these time frames. And then once it's delivering here like this, you then want to instantly assume that price is doing nothing more than reaching for this high. That's it. That's the only high it wants to take out and then it might go even further. Now, once you've established that, all you want to do is use lower time frames, and you can use a plethora of them, not one, remember, because we see orders to go and find a time frame where basically you have a break right very cleanly and price has returned and now you can confirm it here for a continuation and that's your 
C being the SSC. So let me show you an example of that so it doesn't sound all too crazy. But what you're doing is you're establishing trend and then you're just following trend and you're not looking to sell into trend to continue. You're not looking to sell into inducement to continue. Please forget all the stuff that you've seen online regarding all this nonsense because it's, it's completely useless to you and will only keep you stuck longer. OK, so let me show you what I mean by that. So when I go and show you the three day here, as I have over and over and over again, where we had this zone refine and we look to follow it long. All we're doing is continuing to follow it long to this point here. This is where we expect price to move to and continue through. And as a result, what we're going to do is we're going to be using the dailies to go long and use the ranges to go long there. We're going to use the eight hours to go long there. We're going to look for confluence behind SSC ranges across a number of time frames to see which ones make sense to go long from. And during our given sessions or given or, or given um, uh, volatility injections into the market, we know what we're looking for and when we're looking for it. We're not sitting here like little junkies thinking that we need to sell every single break to the downside because hopefully, as you've learned through my videos, prices do not move like this until they break down and then start moving like this right? Prices move a little more something like this, where they start maybe, um, you know, they, they come down into a zone through what we call in the mentorship, a uh, multiple redistribution models into an accumulation model. We start getting long, it could re-break down for a re-accumulation model again and start going long in here. And then as these deliver and start being very clear, these produce opportunities on the lower time frames that are worth multi-million to billion, hundreds of thousands of dollars, um, just like that. Right. That does not mean that you're going to make that or you're going to take that out of the market, but that's what it does. Um, and this is what trends tend to develop like and move like. Now, once you fully, you know, have taken even a little bit of time to study the markets and understand how prices move, even from a simple standpoint of SSC, you begin to realize why most people are always on the wrong side. So today's video as such is really understand why most people are on the wrong side and how this mentality of needing to go short before the long is trapping almost everybody. And instead of that, when you have an overall assumption made about the market, which is that price wants to take out this high, today is Saturday, it's uh, April 8th, um, which has taken out this high, your understanding shouldn't be that now we need to sell into these zones, which could happen. These zones could be delivered, but the likelihood is actually the price wants to remain long. And one of the ways to get involved with that is to look at the multiple ranges that you exist on currently um, and asking yourself if they make sense for long, which they did, which is why I took a long here and here. And notice how despite the fact that price doesn't deliver to the next high, as per the new SSC, I'm still able to make money. And that's because M, which is the thing that holds all of this together, the golden star, uh, how do you draw a star? M, the golden star, is the thing that holds everything together. It's management. It's the fact that even when you're in a trade, because you're on the right side of money, you can still make money on that trade in the initial moves, um, even if it doesn't want to follow itself through, which is why sometimes you'll get the move that does follow itself through and go all the way. Because remember, this trade, I took a partial on it around here, right? So I, was, I already had money made on this trade. Sorry, a little bit higher right here. So I already had money made on this trade before it ever went to new highs. But I had another 50% of my position running on this. So when it takes out this high and I continue trailing, I get out at very hefty profit. Same thing happened here. When I got into this trade right here, I, as you can see right here, actually, I don't think I took a uh, profit on this one. I think, no, I did. So as this trade began, I took a profit right here, began the trail. And again, the same thing could have happened. This price could have blown up to the top side and I would have made money. But in this case, it didn't. So this was like almost a break even or a non-important trade. And then the same thing happened here. I took a trade, had a partial taken already here on the first burst up. And then I began to trail it to keep going long. And it stopped me out around here. Um, that is part of trading. That is, that is why most people can't trade or don't want to trade. Um, and at the same time as it's happening, you can see there are still multiple bearish breaks to the downside, bearish breaks to the downside, bearish breaks to the downside. And your job as a trader is to understand why just a bearish break to the downside is not indicative of a trend change. And instead, your job as a trader should be to realize that trends don't develop and move like this. Trends develop and move in a very different fashion, in a di different way. And if you want to learn exactly how that happens, you can take a look at either the rest of my public YouTube channel or join up with the private because I go in extreme depth there. But once you understand how, how uh, structures and trends actually deliver, you stop worrying about this nonsense of bearish breaks and you start realizing that bearish breaks are one of the best things ever because these are the true, what you would call inducers um, or the true fake outs of the dumb money. Because at that point, close to anyone, whether it's retail, auction theory, um, support resistance, break and retest, um, smart money, close to everyone within those spaces are already going to be going short on this, looking for sells here, here, you know, auction theory here, wherever the fuck it is, um, without realizing that this right here is the most likely continuation target. And all you have to do is understand where you are on a higher and a lower, and hopefully potentially get to follow these trades up long. 
And a good representation of this exact model is available right here on the four hour, which is something that I did with the team. Um, price broke bearish here. And as it began to break the intermediaries long here, this is where I began to go long. Initially, I went long inside of this wick right here as it tapped in. Then I followed up along in here, followed up another long in here, and then I stopped following it. And then as it broke up, um, I personally didn't follow anything from here, but we had a lot of people in the mentorship follow this long right here. And from there, I followed along inside of here. And as I just showed you, it took a long inside of here and here. But notice how all the money that I've been making on this market uh, thus far, or all the trades I've been taking on this market have all been to the long side. And the reason for that is the same reason I've outlined time and time again. Um, I hope that a lot of you are sick and tired of hearing me talk about how bullish I am. Because at the end of the day, the market is nothing more than the repetition of the exact same things. And if you're someone that's not in the boat of understanding that that is the case, well, you're consistently going to be on the wrong side because you think there's some holy grail or some crazy shit that's happening every day that's different, all right? But in reality, it's the same It's the same thing that's delivering nonstop, right? We've been bullish on this thing since this initial break here, and we've been following this beauty all the way up. And we've been waiting for clear, um, what we what we like to call free money zones in relation to invalidation zones, and that's exactly what we're getting now. And as a result, we're able to take this long and trade it long and continue to hold it long, and it's been a beautiful delivery. So the question today is, what side of the aisle are you on? What kind of thought process are you allocating to the to the to the actual trading to the charts? Are you someone that's following the signal that's telling you to go short here just because there's an imbalance and a zone, or are you someone that understands that this is all for the purpose of accumulation and continuation and as a result, you're following it long. Um, and we'll continue following it long because clearly we have a point of liquidity of where price actually wants to run to. No need to go and find equal highs and equal lows and all that fun stuff. No need to go find imbalances and all this fun stuff that other people like to look for. Instead, focusing on the at-hand structures and trends and the actual um, structures put in, put in motion that want to deliver now, and then following those accordingly on a lower time frame. All right, guys, good luck. Look at your competition, understand what they're doing wrong. Peace. Join the private too. You won't regret it. Bye.